In this question, we don't have any information regarding angle of repose. And these two blocks are placed on inclined plane, rough inclined plane. So here we cannot say these two blocks will be at rest or move down. So let us proceed with one assumption that these two blocks are sliding down with a common acceleration say small a. Say this block is block number one and this is block number two. Now we can draw the free body diagram. First consider block number two. The component of the weight we can consider perpendicular to the inclined plane, parallel to the inclined plane. This is a normal reaction and this is the tension force and this is sliding down. So friction will be in the upward direction and kinetic in nature. Now we can consider block number one. Similarly, we can make the component of the weight parallel to the incline and perpendicular to the incline, these components and normal reaction and tension force will be the upward direction. This is again sliding down. That means the friction force will be in the upward direction and kinetic in nature. Now we can write the values of F1 and F2. This is mu multiplied by N1 and N1 is equal to capital MG cos theta. So this is mu multiplied by capital MG cos theta. And similarly, we can write F2 is equal to mu multiplied by N2 and this N2 is equal to small mg cos theta. So, this is mu multiplied by small mg cos theta. Now, we can write equation of motion. First, write the equation of motion for the block number 2. For block number 2, equation of motion should be T plus small mg sin theta minus mu multiplied by mg cos theta. That should be equal to mass multiplied by acceleration. So, equation number 1. Similarly, we can write equation of motion for the block number 1. We can write here capital MG sin theta minus T minus mu multiplied by capital MG cos theta equal to capital M multiplied by small a. Now, we can add these two equations. If we add these two equations, capital T, capital T will get cancelled. And here we can take G sin theta. G sin theta is common. So, this term will be capital M plus small m multiplied by G sin theta. And here we can take mu multiplied by G cos theta is common. So, this term should be equal to mu multiplied by capital M plus small m multiplied by G cos theta. And on the right hand side, we can write capital M plus small m multiplied by small a. So, this will be the equation. Right now, from this equation, we can observe capital M plus small m, capital M plus small m, and capital M plus small m will get cancelled. Now, we will have the value of acceleration. This is equal to g multiplied by sin theta minus mu multiplied by cos theta. So, let us write this equation. Now, we can substitute the value of this acceleration in either equation. So, let us consider we are substituting this value in equation number 1. And equation number 1, we can write this term. This is capital T and this is plus, we can take mg as common. So, this is mg sin theta minus mu multiplied by cos theta. That is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration, this value. So, let us substitute this value. We will have this equation, right? From this equation, we can observe on right hand side and left hand side, mg sin theta minus mu cos theta, mg sin theta minus mu cos theta will get cancelled. That means this t is equal to 0. This t is equal to 0. That means option 3 should be the correct option. This is the correct option.